Hey everybody, it's Into the Vapor with another E-Juice review. I'm Sean. I'm Andy. And we have another Vapor Chef flavor, Apple Bourbon Tobacco. This, I think, is going to be one of those ones that appeals more to uh, your pipe users and, and your, your very yeah, refined dropping. taste individuals. It'd be a perfect description. It'd be a, yeah, description would be perfect out of a pipe. Hmm. Vape like a sir. Apple bourbon and aged tobacco. It's a sweet and rich vape, light on the tobacco with hints of toffee and brown sugar. He made this flavor because he wanted a vape that tasted good while drinking whiskey and not destroy the taste of the libation. It's a great pairing for whiskey drinkers out there. It's recommended to steep. Um, for anybody who doesn't know what steeping is, it's basically leaving your juice sit before you use it so that it can age a little bit and oxidize a little bit. Okay, so I think we're, what we're vaping today, what I've just tried... This is a 50-50 PGVG blend at 24 milligrams. All right, so my first initial thoughts. It smells like bourbon. Like bourbon. Um, when, I, when I was vaping on it earlier right there, I definitely got bourbon, toffee, and a slight hint of apple. With the bourbon flavor for me, though, inhale, great. I like bourbon. Exhale, toffee, apple. But what was weird was the mix kind of dried my mouth out like you would get. It kind of gave me a little bit of cotton mouth, which you get when you drink a nice a nice whiskey. It kind of dries you out. Um, but overall, like, I get bourbon, bourbon, coffee, and apple. I'm trying to place the, the, the first inhale flavor because I got the rest of it down. Yeah. I got... I want to say I got a, a sweet tobacco coming in. On the actual inhale part coming in, it's brown. I get I get brown sugar. Mm -hmm. I definitely get brown sugar. And the exhale is all bourbon. And there's an aftertaste of bourbon. Like I still taste the bourbon, and that's all I'm getting on the exhale is bourbon. So I'm getting tobacco on the mouth inhale, brown sugar on the lung inhale, and then bourbon coming out. Okay, I'm going to edit my initial initial thoughts there for a second. All right, bourbon, toffee, apple with a smidgen bit of brown sugar, and the tobacco is what you're drying my mouth out. The tobacco is what's the, after, the aftertaste is leaving. There's an undertone of, it's kind of like an apple wood bacon, uh, apple wood bacon applewood tobacco aftertaste and if you're a fan of tobacco tobacco -y flavors excellent um this would go really good with like a whiskey or a, a whiskey honestly like i feel like i just smoked a really f nice cigar yeah um i'll give you that so when it comes to definition spot on he's got his apple with the bourbon tobacco flavor other than i get no apple but between the two of us again, well, well, it's all there. It's not like taste is subjective. Yeah. Um, In between the two, it's of not us? a it's not a sweet apple. It's a very very light apple, and I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me because of the name, but I do get a slight apple. It's more like an apple. Like it it smells like they burnt. It tastes like they burnt some apples into the wood. Like, like you an know, apple wood. Like like like, a, like when you would yeah. like when you would eat, you would you would like charcoal wood to put yeah, your yeah. bourbon in. It tasted like they took apple wood and charred it. Okay. It's not like a fruity apple. It's a very very like very very woody type of apple. I'm gonna say nine out of ten for the flavor definition based on the description because yeah. he's got a lot of flavors listed in. Yeah. And it's it's a pretty ambitious. It, it definitely list. it definitely does attack your palate. And it's mostly there, and it does all hit your palate, but it's not all quite there for me. So I'm yeah. gonna say nine out of ten on the definition, and I'm gonna give this one. And I'm not a drinker, and I don't typically like tobacco vapes, but I'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten personally, because I could totally have this with the drink. I could totally yeah. put this in the e pipe and just enjoy it with a vape mm -hmm. or with with a drink. It's more like a refined evening kind of thing, though. Yeah. I feel like like I'm, I'm going to give it an, about a 9 on definition because I do get the flavors. Not so much the sugar, but like what its name entails. Apple, bourbon, tobacco. 
you get the tobacco, you get the apple bourbon spot on. Um, Flavor-wise for me, I'm going to give it about a 7 out of 10, which is because... I feel like I'm. I like a cigar every now and then. It's not. It's not bad to light up a cigar and hang out with. You know, just have a nice, nice, nice drink. And it seems like one of those flavors where if you had a nice, nice, nice stiff drink on the rocks and yeah. you're sitting there enjoying the night, you could. It, it definitely tastes like you're. It's a back porch fireplace vape. Yeah, it, for it, sure. It, it feels like you could just sit. It feels like when you those nights where you would just light up a big old, big old stogie and just have, oh, yeah. have a nice vape. Pack a nice pipe. It's mm-hmm. definitely a back porch or fireplace or yeah. camp kind of vape. So me. I mean, again, Vapor Chef comes through on his, his flavor profile. Yeah. But palettes are different, and all palettes are different. And taste good. is subjective, like we always say. And there's two more videos coming, so look out. Have a good one.